Hello, welcome to the JavaScript tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. So in the previous session we saw how we can place the JavaScript program in a separate file and refer that file to the HTML page like this. Now in this session I'll talk about something that is important from perceived performance perspective. Okay, so when this HTML page starts loading in a browser, browser starts executing commands from top to bottom. Okay, so when the browser reaches this point, then everything is stopped until this JavaScript file is loaded and executed and then the program is going to move forward. This creates perceived performance issues to because for the user the most important part is to see the web page and if some program has to load it can load after the text has been displayed to the user text containing the main meat of the web page in our case this is IT training site is the main text and this phenomenon is very clear from our example here because our JavaScript program is putting a message on the screen using the alert function but most of the JavaScript files will not really put a message on the screen they will simply contain functions and the code to be executed later on when user performs some interaction on the screen and that could create perceived performance issues so the best place to refer to a JavaScript file is not in the header section but after the body section you can put the uh, script text anywhere in your HTML page so as soon as the browser reaches that point only then that JavaScript file starts loading and starts executing so if I place this here then this would be the perfect location unless for some reason this file is uh, has to be loaded first I would put it at, at the end now let's save the work and let's see how uh, the program will behave in the browser. So here's my browser. If I go to my page.html file, now you can see a little difference. First, the text is displayed on the screen, this site training, and then the alert message comes in. As I said, not all JavaScript file will produce alert message. They will simply contain a bunch of programming code that needs to be loaded right so it will take some time to load the programming code so it uh, will create perception that website is slow so if you're loading the code at the end it will be perceived as if the website is not slow so that will always make sense so you can see the outcome is pretty much the same but it's better because the text is displayed on the browser first and then my JavaScript file is executed. So I can click OK here. 